Stellaris, developed and released by Paradox Interactive on May 16th, 2016, is a grand strategy game that focuses on the development and management of a self-designed empire of your choice. When creating your empire, you get a variety of options to modify your empire the way you want. These empires can range from murderous, war-loving empires to peace-loving traders trying to make a mega corporation to get new goods. One of the most important parts of creating your empire is picking your origin. The reason for this is that your origin not only determines where your empire is located, but also what events and modifiers you will have later down the road. A great example of this is the Clone Army origin. In the Clone Army origin, you are limited to a total of 100 pops from your native species. While playing this origin, you unlock an event chain that leads to you either getting greater buffs while only having 100 pops, or taking weaker modifiers to the ability to go beyond 100 pops. This choice determines how you play the rest of the game, since pops from the limited are the best for warmongering empires as it creates the best admirals for your fleet. While on the other hand, the ability to create more of your own species is useful for running planets without other aliens. When it comes to gameplay, it can be a bit confusing for new players, since the game's tutorial is just kind of something that throws you around without proper information or without properly explaining it. The best way to learn this game, in all honesty, though, is to have a friend who already knows how to play the game and guide you through the basics. If you don't have any friends, another good way is to just throw yourself in different scenarios and time and time again just to understand all the basics and find your own playstyle. After understanding the basics, I recommend buying some of the DLCs as the majority of the content in the game is unfortunately locked behind these content packs. In my opinion, though, the best ones to add are Utopia and Synthetic Dawn. In my opinion, these DLCs add a lot of the game and are probably the best for their price, however, I would wait on buying them if you have the chance. Since the large DLCs go on sale quite often, this can save you quite a bit of money if you just wait for one of the often sales. To be honest, if you're a fan of grand strategy type games and enjoy space theme, then most likely you'll like Stellaris. And if you don't like the space theme, then I recommend you check out one of the other Paradox games, such as Crusader Kings 3 or Hearts of Iron 4. I've heard good things about them from people who have played them, so go check those out. Anyways, thank you for watching all the way to the end if you did make it here. Uh, I do recommend Stellaris to anybody who wants to check it out. Um, but yeah, honestly, pretty good game. Recommend it to anybody. Nothing much else to say. Sorry for putting this off for a month.